What's good, ladies and gents? Welcome to the MKL Pugilism Boxing Channel, where we talk all things boxing. Remember to like, subscribe, hit a bell notification, put it on all so you get notified as soon as we drop new content on the channel. So let's get into this one. So the back and forth between Big John Fury and Carl the Cobra Frotch continues. And um, the latest thing with it, you may have heard, you may not have heard, is that Big John Fury has uh, taken things one step further to uh, quote-unquote serious level, where Big John Fury decided that um, he didn't like Carl Froch's comments about him having a thin skin and this and that, and uh, he didn't, he, he always, uh, he can't take it when people question his son's resume, call, call him Froch a hater and all this sort of thing. So his latest claim, he said, right, Carl, I want to fight you in front of 93,000 at Wembley. Um, you know, he said, yeah, I'll do that, my friend. Uh, tell your people, reach out to me. It's only me. I'm just a one-man band. Reach out to me and um, I'll fight you in front of 93,000 at Wembley. And um, Carl Froch, to his credit, he responded and he brought John Fury right back down to earth because he said that, listen, John, there is no money in a fight between me and you. You know, you're 59 years old. You know, I'm in my mid 40s. There's no money in such a fight being made. There's no way we're going to pack out 93,000 people at Wembley. 93,000 people at Wembley do not want to see us. So Carl Froch, in his response, I give him credit for this because it just, again, it just gave him another reality check about you know what what the truth is because john fury just seems to live in his fantasy world where he's a he's a uh you know i know he was a fighting man in the past and whatnot but he he thinks he's still in his prime somehow and 93 to even be talking about that shows that you're you're, you're very delusional and you know that's what frotch pointed to he said he said okay there's no money in this fight so what i'll do i'll fight you for charity but there's a few conditions. First of all, you have to prove that you can stand there for three minutes because I'm looking at you, John, and you don't look in shape at all. You you're you're not in shape. You're not you, you you're not convincing. You know, no, we don't even know if you can stand up for three rounds. So Frotch said to him, Yeah, what you do, go and fight Mickey Theo, who's around your sort of age, who was calling you out before. Go and fight man like Mickey Theo. Or you go and fight a guy like Joe Egan, who was Mike Tyson's sparring partner, who's also an older man, probably late 50s, early 60s, like you, John. So fight one of these guys, fight Mickey Phil, fight Joe Egan, fight one of these older guys that was calling you back, calling you out. If you look good against these guys and prove that you can stand up for the three minutes and you can do the rounds and you actually look like um, you know, you're in some sort of shape, you can fight, you kind of prove it. Then Frost said, right, once you do that, then I will take you on, but I'll take you on to charity. None of us get paid, it's all for charity because there is no money to be made in it. Uh, Frotch mentioned the misfits and yeah, maybe they will, maybe on the misfits he, he could do something. You know, they, they could um, take on a guy like John Fury or whatever, fighting someone. Um, you know, Frotch also gave him a bit of a blow by saying in his response that you haven't fought anybody since you come out of prison. You haven't done anything really violent or you, you haven't really been on no smoke since you come out of jail. So you're talking like a big hard man, but you ain't done anything since you come out. Since you come out, you've been quiet. You ain't done anything. You've been mouthing off. You've been all bark, but no bite. So, yeah, Frotch was, wasn't shy. And um, as I said, uh, Frotch, his big point to John was that you're not going to, no one, no one's going to pay to see us fight. There's not going to be no 90 odd thousand people at Wembley. You, no one wants to see this thing anyway. And he, he said, he, you can't stand up. And he warned John that, look, I'm in shape. I'm, I'm not in my prime, but I'm in my mid 40s. I'm in shape. I'm still shredded. You look kind of fat like you're you're out of shape and i'm significantly younger than you so you know be careful when you're mentioning my name because at the end of the day prove, prove you can do it versus your own age stay in your own lane once you do something 
I'll be ringside. And then if you if you're any good, then I will fight you next. But but be careful when you're calling out a cobra. Even men should have rolled around on the cobbles and said, Don't do that with a cobra because you'll regret it. That's a different ball game. Said in the ring, you probably won't even last a round with me, John. You know, I'm 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 just too sharp, I'm too much shape. And yeah, with Frotch, it, it is true because you look at Frotch, um, at his time. He was a very good fighter. He wasn't the best super middleweight, but I tell you what, there's a very good argument that he was the second best because the only guys he lost to were guys, you know, were two of the, you know, Andre Ward, who was the best at the time, and also Mikhail Kessler, who was an exceptional fighter in his time. He um, took Joe Calzaghe the distance. Joe Calzaghe proved he was a lot better than Kessler separated himself. But at the time, Calzaghe was retired, so... You know, Frotch beat everybody around apart from one man, and that's Andre Ward. So Frotch is definitely um, a a very, very good fighter at his time. And as I say, he beat everybody there was to beat. It's only one man that he wasn't able to beat because he beat Mikhail Kessler after losing, you know, although he lost to him once, but he beat him back. Um, so, yeah. Here's what it is. Let me know what your thoughts are on this. My thoughts are on this is that this is some foolishness and I hope nothing comes of it because Big John would get annihilated by a younger guy like Carl Frotch who's actually in shape. So I don't want to see it. I don't want to see Big John get hurt. I just want to see Big John enjoy his retirement, enjoy his sons and stuff like that and just be in the background. Stop talking about fighting people because... I think if he does fight somebody in any sort of shape, he's going to be in trouble. He's going to be in trouble. You know, especially at, the man's nearly 60 years old. Just just allow the boxing, sit down and just, just enjoy life. Enjoy, you know, life what through your sons and that. That's what I think. But let me know your thoughts. Until next time, it's MKO Pugilism over and out.